Hi guys, it's Paul from Alt Game Reviews and today I just wanted to do another video on Generation Zero. In my recent review of the game, a couple of people commented on it saying that they were going to pick it up, so I thought I'd show some gameplay and a tutorial on a feature that I didn't actually include in the review and that is a base building and base defence mode. This mode was released in the free May update on PC and consoles, but you have to complete a mission to unlock it and to be able to do it. You can do it from the start, you can do it at any point, but obviously some people will miss it if you don't know that it's there. So the mission you're looking for is a side mission called Good News. You can find it in the northeast area of the forest region. It's just near the coast. I've highlighted that in that blue circle. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of the villages. To the west there's a safe house that's on like a sort of logging yard that's highlighted in red. I'd recommend finding that if you haven't already as that's a good place to start and spawn from if you die whilst trying to get there. So start at that safe house and the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to that small town where the first waypoint is for the good news mission. Okay so it's a relatively small town, there are some robots including hunters which are pretty dangerous. They have this bleed ability that can pretty much one hit you. I probably didn't come with enough ammo just because I wanted to get this mission started. So there's a couple of little guys to kill there, I managed to block the car and take them out. And what we're wanting to head for is that yellow building, I think it's a shop up the back. So here's these hunters and reapers, they've got missiles and they've got a blade that will one hit you. They're pretty dangerous and there's a couple of them dotted around so just watch out. Generation Zero is a lot easier if you're playing at co-op. This is one of the experimental guns that I've managed to unlock. You get them from defeating the rivals. Here I'm sort of a one man army, there's lots of robots to fight off against and I'm just trying to get into this shop where the letter that we want to get a hold of is located. So in here on this tabletop you'll find a letter from an old friend. Once you read the letter you'll get instructions to go to another waypoint to the north. There it's another logging yard and inside one of these cabins you're going to find some C4. The third and final task in the good news mission is to go blow up that Phoenix command centre. So once we've got the C4, we'll be given a third and final waypoint. It's up the top of a hill here, again marked in blue. Once you get to the top of the hill, you can see the command center. There will again be a few robots to fight off against. Eventually, I just make a run for it to plant the C4. You don't actually have to kill all the robots, you can just destroy the base. Get to this sort of central array tower. You've only got to put the C4 on once, you don't need to put it on every spot. Run away. There's a robot here, but I'll just wait for the explosion to take him out. Try to take him out with a pistol because I've ran out of ammo from other guns. Wait for the explosion. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And I've fallen down the hill so we don't get to see the payoff, which is a bit of a pain. But we'll go back and see it all falling down. Okay, so we've completely wiped out the command centre and this will be the location for your first resistance base. So once we open up the build menu, there's four different categories of items that we can build. The required resources are wood and textiles. I've got plenty, you'll find them everywhere. The centre of your command centre is this truck radio tower. Home base defence, difficulty levels. Home base defence missions can be found at home bases once you've unlocked them and are replayable as many times as you wish. So I don't start the base defence yet, I start building my defences. I did have an open lobby for multiplayer, as I said the game's just a bit easier with other people, so two guys joined and whilst I'm building the base one of them actually set off the defence mission. So we go started, prepare for battle before the enemy arrives, we've only got one wall and a gate, luckily the third guy turned up as well. And you can see the resistant command centre has health, if your defences take damage you can repair them, but they can be destroyed as well, as so the robots have turned up. This was on medium, it definitely wasn't too difficult, only two waves. So the next wave started, I've not managed to actually finish the walls yet, so I'm going as fast as I can, there's some bigger robots now. But my two teammates are managing to hold them off. And there we go, we're fully encapsulated with walls. So the next thing we want to do is we want to build some defences, we want to build some towers. We can use these to get advantage on our enemies. Just sticking one in each corner so I can see in all different directions. The base building is pretty limited, there's gates, two variations of walls, there's the wooden lookout tower and the pill defence box. You can also put in the crafting stations which you get at local safe houses. And there's a couple of little aesthetic items such as a resistance flag. It'd be cool to see them add more, to make it a bit more homely, you know, different floors, staircases. But we'll just, we'll see if any of that comes in a future update, it's been out for about a month and a half now. 
but it definitely just adds more character to the game, more to do to make the game world your own. I'm not entirely sure how many of these base locations that there are, if anyone knows, drop a comment below. So we managed to beat both the waves. You can replay the missions as much as you like, but in between you'll have to increase your region's insurrection level. To do this, you need to kill enough machines in an area. This is also how you evolve the rivals into a higher tier and the chances of dropping better loot. So let me know guys, have you picked up Generation Zero? Are you enjoying it and were you aware of the base building? Let me know how you get on and if you want to see any more videos on the game, let me know. Cheers.